We just got done eating and I am going to show you real life what's going on in my kitchen. Look at this mess. Overflowing dishes. Great kid doing the dishes. But we just had a really awesome dinner and I wanted to show you real quick what we have left over. This is the amazing soup that is the Dixie Stampede soup or Stampede soup. This is what we're going to learn. Look how good this stuff is. Oh. So I'm gonna actually put this in a container and pop it in my fridge, but I'm gonna show you how to make this. So in a pot, you are going to add three tablespoons of butter. Go ahead and turn this on a low heat. You want this to simmer, you don't want it to brown, you don't want it to boil, so go ahead and throw your three tablespoons of butter in here, and then a half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic, and one teaspoon of corn syrup. I don't typically like to use corn syrup in my recipes, but here's the deal. I've tried this with it, and I've tried it without it, and the corn syrup is a must. So, if you wanna make this the best way, then I suggest throwing that teaspoon of corn syrup in there and let it roll. So I'm gonna mix this up, melt this down, and we will have this simmer for one minute. While you're waiting on this to kind of melt down and start simmering, go ahead and get three tablespoons of all-purpose flour in here into a container and then you're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt and one quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper. So get that in a bowl while you're waiting on this to simmer. It's gonna make life a lot easier. Go ahead and get out your heavy whipping cream. You're going to need three cups of this in, down the road. And go ahead and have your vegetables cooked and chopped up. We actually just, uh, got some good old canned potatoes and sliced carrots, super easy, but you're gonna need three quarters of a cup of whatever vegetables that you use. The actual recipe calls for carrots and potatoes. That is why I'm using those. Um, you can put in peas or whatever vegetable you want, but go ahead and get that going and have that ready to go while you're waiting on this to simmer. Also get out a half a cup of chicken broth. This is the chicken broth from our chickens where we make our own stock, but just regular chicken broth. Get you a half a cup, have that ready to go because this is all gonna go quick and you don't want it to boil and you don't want it to burn. So this is starting to simmer, so I'm going to count one minute. Oh, one minute, perfect. All right, we're 5.15. Let's go ahead, pop that in there. Pop this in here. And then the chicken broth. And we're going to let this simmer for three minutes. You wanna make sure you stir it because it will stick to the bottom. I just added one and a half cups of water too. I forgot to do that, but it's all right. So we're just gonna start it over. It's 517 and we're gonna start our simmer from there. And then we'll move on to the next step. While this is starting to simmer for three minutes, I'm gonna pour out three cups of heavy whipping cream. Now you can use um, half and half if you prefer, but when I asked about the real recipe, they said they use heavy whipping cream. Now, you can um, quit Apollo, <laughs> he's, he's hungry. Um, make sure you use heavy whipping cream or half and half. Um, and you're gonna use one whole pint and then half a pint, which equals about three cups if you're not um, into knowing your measurements with pints. But that's about three cups. So I'm gonna get three cups into here and then when this time is up, I'm going to add the cream into my soup. 
In goes my one whole pint plus a half of a pint. But if you don't know what that measurement is, it's three cups of heavy cream. And now I'm going to stir this consistently. Ooh, this is popping. Boiling water for sweet tea. But you're going to can, uh, continually stir this. You don't want it to boil until you get it your desired consistency. And the longer you let it sit on there and stir it, the thicker it will get. We are going to have a country dinner. I've made homemade rolls. I've got chicken fried steak, a big old butter, and I'm cooking. So, we are going to eat. What you think, Katie? Does it taste like a Dixie Stampede? Yeah? I know, we gotta wake the Lazy Bones up to eat. Try it, Caden. Caden's never had chicken fried steak. Mm -hmm. Tastes good? Mm 